here in Huntington at the Highway Department. Happy New Year, everyone. Today, it's snowing, and we are going to get a ride in the plow with Clinton Alger, also known as Yogi. I'm Clinton Yogi Alger. My grandmother nicknamed me that when I was a little kid. I guess I used to watch a lot of Yogi Bear, and, and it's just stuck. No one knows me by my real name. I do a lot of plowing, sitting in a truck. If we have nice days, we'll go out and fix up a couple roads if we have ruts, or we'll do some brush cutting. And Always saying I'm sick of snow, I don't want to see it. And this year I've been saying let it snow, let it snow. Back in November, we met up with Yogi at Brewster Pierce Memorial School. The kids were so excited to surprise him with the V-Trans plow that was named after him. Yeah! I read the newspaper that we could name a state plow and I came to school and decided to make it a school event so every classroom came up with a name and we decided Yogi would be our name so we put it out to the school and Yogi won. This is my dad and he has been working for the town for over 25 years. He's already talking, he wants to become the Huntington Road foreman when he's of age. You automatically knew who that was. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everybody did. Everyone seems to know me no matter where I go. Our state to have a plow with the name Yogi on it um, as a tribute to somebody who's given many, many hours and years of service to our community. Lucas, who is Yogi's son, had to keep the secret for a month and a half. I heard you had a secret you had to keep. Yeah, yeah he did a good job, too, of keeping it. It was a real surprise. But so now you're on two plows. Now I'm on two plows. <laughs> then we decided to also paint the town plows, and we painted one Yogi, and then those are the runner-up names, Arctic Fox and Kaplow. When they showed us the names, <laughs> I said I want a Kaplow, so I got Arctic Fox. The Brewster Pierce School put my name on my plow. And it's different compared to the state. You know, you don't have interstates, and you got big, bigger hills and, you know, dirt roads, and they're a lot steeper. Yeah. A lot, a lot steeper and because there's a lot of times we got to yeah. run with chains on too and the state don't do that it's got two wings on it so i can do the left side and the right side of the interstate oh i grew up in huntington and you know yogi oh yes <laughs> kids right now more than ever they like coming together for a unifying purpose this is just something that was really fun and we just need to infuse some more fun right now back into some of the learning in schools. They get to name the plow and then to have it be somebody who's so iconic is just even a double wow. What do you all think of Yogi? He's great. He's, he's a great guy. guy. Yeah, he's, he's a great guy. guy. He just he's done so much, much for our town. town. Yeah, he's done a lot for us in the town. For our school, he made these, he made the parking lot so that it didn't just like be a giant puddle and so all the water like flow down. He made our tunnel town. Okay, can you explain what tunnel town is? Tunnel town is in the winter when all the snow that's on the road gets plowed up over there. You can dig tunnels through the snow and you can crawl through the tunnels. Also laid foundation for our gardens out over there. Every year, every Arbor Day, he digs the um, holes for the trees and all of this he does. He doesn't even charge us. He helps do so much around in town also to make it the best community we can have. I think if I ever ran for president, I'd vote, get all votes from Bruce Superior School. We also have a barbecue at the end of the school year. It's called Sandy's Barbecue. And Yogi has been here several times as our chef extraordinaire. I didn't get to know a lot of people. I mean, now Huntington's grown with a lot of new people that's moved in. So I meet them and they'll say, oh, you're Yogi. I go, yeah. Well, I'm the road foreman for Huntington and I maintain the whole town highway department for roads and culvert replacement. Yogi is somebody who does way more than his job, like goes above and beyond in any, any need of anybody at school. We don't have a local police department or ambulance here in Huntington, so we rely very much on people helping locally if we have an emergency. Like we, one time we had Yogi came by, we had a student that was sledding and broke their leg and somebody's lost up in the woods we call yogi and he, he loves the kids he loves this school 
he'll do anything for us. He's a good leader. What more he, can we say? Yeah, if you don't believe me, just ask his son right here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, not really his son. I'm his work son. I'd lay cell phone I put out. I'm busy, busier than a one-armed bandit. I'll try to get back with you. <laughs> it likes to snow Saturday and Sunday a lot. I don't know. It's Sometimes we call ourselves the weekend warriors. Back before I got married and had children, I used to I'd plow all winter, all day long Christmas day and let my guys, they'd come in at three, help me, and I'd say, get out of here at seven, take care of the whole town by myself. And then, now that I've got kids, it's, I think probably in 26 years, I'd be lucky if I'm, I'm probably going to stretch by saying I've had five Christmases off. I wish people would use more common sense. I mean, people are always under our tailgates. They're trying to crowd the plow. I am Linda Pecor, and I've had this Beaudry store for 43 years. Yogi is wonderful for our town. We're very, very fortunate to have him. Our roads are in good shape, but he also does a lot of other things for the community. I know that Huntington people, when they're out on a snowy road, once they reach that town line between Richmond and Huntington, they breathe a sigh of relief. They know their home. The roads get immediately clearer. They're so well plowed. I come in at 3 a.m. to start because I do all the block top. I do the whole south end of Huntington. I went through Huntington and Yogi took care of that. And then all of a sudden I got out on the interstate and I saw the Yogi truck there and said, well, I'm in good hands here too, she says. <laughs> yeah, so I have a good relationship with the people in Huntington. It's been good. It's a special place to be. Huntington really is a special community. Uh, things like this that we can all get together and the kids are all so excited to, to surprise Yogi and stuff. I think it's, it says a lot about our community. I love it. I really feel appreciated. I'm looking into retiring this year, so it's a good thing. Hopefully. This is a good way to go out. It's a good way to go out, it is. <laughs> I enjoy this work. I mean, I've done it for so long. I'm gonna miss it. Thanks for the ride, Yogi. Happy New Year, everyone. And thanks to everyone who keeps our roads clear. Take care and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. All right, here I am doing some investigative reporting for Ava Saulberger. Do you know where Yogi is? Uh, he's actually at the shop right now. Oh, perfect. And this video wouldn't have even happened if it wasn't for you, Suzanne. <laughs> I wouldn't have even known who Yogi was, so thank you. You're very welcome. You get me all my great stories. I try.